Max and I are over here at the Erie Canal under the Sweden Walker Bridge to give it one last try for some carp fishing. They'll be draining the canal in the next couple of weeks, so we figured come over and give it a shot and it'd be the end of the carp fishing for the year. So we'll see if we get anything. But the first thing we're going to do before we even bait up, or if you don't get poison ivy or what you pick up, we just got some grass. Rub it all over my hands to get the human scent off my hands before I bait up with the corn. We're just using corn today. But I got the mineral traps we're going to put them in too. See if we catch the catfish. The catfish are hit on the corn too. I should have bought some salmon eggs with me. I got a lot of them at home. The only thing you got to watch is Max. He'll steal the corn. If Max can get the corn, he'll, he'll eat every bit of it. He's done that to me before, so. I have to keep an eye on them, plus I don't want them getting a hook. So we got two hooks here with corn on them. So we're going to toss it under the bridge and then just wait. If after 15 or 20 minutes you're not getting any bites, we just move the line a little bit. Just give it a little tug. Move it up a few inches, that's all you got to do. Two or three inches, you only got to move them a few inches. Okay. And you get your line tight again, so it takes off. Sometimes just that little bit of movement, they'll see it and boom. We're using three balls. It's New York State law, you can use up to three. Now we'll just wait again. And after you move it, then wait another, I'll say 10 minutes. Then bring your line in and check it. Because a lot of times, little fish will nibble, nibble at your corn. And, and you'll be, you won't have no corn even on. So you want to check your bait at least every half hour. Just check my bait. And if you look, there's a tiny zebra mussel on the corn. So they've been eating the corn. That's why you got to check your bait. So we're checking the bait on all of them. Put on fresh corn and recast out. We've been eating our corn, so looks like we got to put re corn up on all three poles. So you never know. Well, Max and I are over here to our ace in the hole spot. We normally can catch a carp over here. We got we got kept getting our lines cleaned at the other spot. But I didn't see any hits, so zebra mussels are probably eating all our bait. Well, we may have some better luck here. We'll try it for an hour. So now we're going to move to another spot on the canal that we fished. We haven't had no luck here today, so we haven't given up yet, so we're going to go until another spot. Darn. We got a carp on. I'm going to take him down here a ways. Be easier to get in. Just when I'm getting ready to give up. Just when we're getting ready to go home. This has happened the last four or five times. It's maybe the last carp of the season. I don't know. Oh, we got a hit on the other pole. We just had a hit on the other pole. That's that corn. Watch me get one on there. It's going to be a while to get this one in. This one feels pretty big and strong. It's not moving much. Wow, that's weird. Boy, this guy's strong. Be great to get two. One on this pole, if I can get them in, get them off, and then get the other one. Boy. Put Max in the van just in time because he, he's been on the road and I got a fish on. He sees a wreck.
Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Great fish. Great fish. Beautiful fish. Beauty. Oh, he's a beauty. He's a beauty. I'll get the hook out of him. Leave it in the net. Leave him in the net. Release him in the net. Then I ain't gonna pick him up. It's a good one. Well, we didn't get the count, so. Thank you, dear Jesus. Barely hooked. All right. We'll let him go. Last three or four times I've gone carp fishing. Right when we're getting ready to leave is when I get all the action. I had a hit on this one. I got to check my other boat. Why, this guy's heavy. He's heavy. Put on him. Swam right down there. He's swam right down there. Well, that was fun. That was fun. That made my day. Touchdown. We caught a, a, a little largemouth bass. See him? He was in the minnow trap with all the minnows. Pretty little guy, you know? A little largemouth. Nice colors on him. Yeah, we got him in the middle trap. He swam right in the trap. Pretty little guy. Oh, we're gonna throw him. Throw him in. There you go, little guy. All right, he was eating the middle straight out of the middle trap. Oh, he had a good meal. Well, Max and I are gonna be going home. We got some spaghetti in the crock pot. My stomach's growling. And Max is always hungry, so. And we we're only gonna stay. For another half an hour, we end up staying longer, so. so I'm going to be packing it up, so we had a pretty good day. We had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching our videos. May the good Lord take a liking to you, and we'll see you the next time.